generation to come the praises of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful works that he has done. Mm -hmm. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children, that the generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children. That they might set their hope in God. Yeah, amen. amen. And not forget the works of God, mm -hmm. but keep his commandments. Yeah. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. 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 There's a reason he established a testimony in Jacob mm -hmm. and appointed a law in Israel. Yes. <clears throat> a couple of weeks ago, I was down in the basement, I was in my den. And I was working on this sermon, by the way. Mm -hmm. And uh, my, my daughter, Sarah, and her two sons, Luke and Liam, came over. And they always, one of the first things they do is they run down to my den to see if Grandpa's down there. And I usually am. And uh, Luke sat down next to me. He's 10. He sat down next to me. And I'm working on the sermon. He says, Grandpa, what are you doing? I'm working on a sermon. What's a sermon? I said, well, it's, he goes to First Baptist Church in Lansing. I said, well, you know how the preacher gets up there and he talks about God and, and the Word of God and Jesus? Yeah, yeah. I said, well, that's a, that's a sermon. Mm -hmm. It's a technical term. Mm -hmm. Sermon. Said, oh, okay. He just didn't know the technical term. That's mm -hmm. all, you know. And that's all right. You don't have to know the technical term. Thomas Kempis said, I would rather feel compunction than know the definition of it. Mm -hmm. And I agree with that. <laughs> but, uh, so we went upstairs and we had pizza. And uh, he got done before I did. And he ran back downstairs. And so I figured, well, he's going to play with the toys and stuff. Because we do have toys for our, our grandkids. Mm -hmm. And after a while, he came back up. He had a smile on his face. And I didn't pay too much attention to it. But it was one of those mischievous smiles. Mm -hmm. You know, so I knew he was up to something. Well, they left, and I went back down in the basement. <coughs> he had written a sermon. Yeah. <laughs> Ten years old, had written a sermon and put it on my desk. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. So first, I'm going to start with his sermon. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot shorter than mine. <laughs> and then I will get mine. Mm -hmm. Amen. He writes, God is among us. He is your Messiah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. He died for you. Mm -hmm. If you follow him and worship him, mm -hmm. he has a special place for you in heaven. Yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. That's a nutshell, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You know, he knows more than Socrates. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Plato should sit at his feet and yeah. listen. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. Same with our children. I, I, I notice your children here, how well behaved and, and even how knowledgeable in the scriptures. Uh -huh. And I really appreciate that. Amen. See, this is testimony mm -hmm. that God has established a testimony in Jacob. It mm -hmm. has appointed a law in Israel. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. this is this is evidence. Yes. Yeah. Evan speaking, and, and today Tim is going to, to, to speak to us. Just these young brethren testifying. This is, this is evidence that mm -hmm. God has established that. See? Mm -hmm. He established it. I'm glad God established it because we probably wouldn't. Mm -hmm. You know how mankind is when he gets a hold of religion? We mess it up. Mm -hmm. So God has to establish it. And then he works in us both the will and to do his good pleasure. And I thank God for that also. Yes. <coughs> now when we think, speak of testimony and law, they're kind of interchangeable. It's like Jacob and Israel. They're, they're interchangeable. Right? It's like a Hebraism that was given here. And when we talk about the testimonies of God, we, uh, it has a, a slightly broader sense than law. The, we, know, we know there's specific laws that God has handed down mm -hmm. throughout time. And testimonies, though, which are just as in, uh, uh, entrenched and truthful and faithful as law, Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, has a broader sense to it. Okay? Yes. God has testified in many different ways. Uh -huh. We know that. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Many different ways. A testimony, even though they're not written down, they were written down finally by Moses. But they don't, a testimony does not have to be a written thing. Mm -hmm. It can be a revelation of God, see? Because mm -hmm. He gives yeah. testimony yeah. to things. Yeah. Uh -huh. right? yeah. A testimony can be any divine revelation because we know that God is light and in Him is no darkness. So when He reveals, it's light. Yeah, that's right. All right? And, and whatever make it manifest is light. Mm -hmm. So when you have light and there's no darkness, then it's a truth. And it's an eternal truth. And it is established. So a testimony is something that is established. Mm -hmm. And it bears as much weight as the law. <laughs> to the law and to the testimony. Yes. If right. they speak not according to this word, mm -hmm. it's because there's no light yeah, in try, them, see? Yeah. Because testimony has light. The law mm -hmm. has light mm -hmm. in it. Amen. Yeah. And they go yeah. mm -hmm. together. If you read Psalms 119, mm -hmm. you can read that all over the place. Yeah. And yeah. I have yeah. several of those uh, that I will share with you this morning. But, mm -hmm. uh, see, God is without variableness yeah, that's right. or shadow of turning. Mm -hmm. So when He reveals something one way or another, mm -hmm. either through a prophet or an angel mm -hmm. or uh, an epiphany or a dream or mm -hmm. something like that, these are testimonies of God. And they are true. Mm -hmm. And they have light. Mm -hmm. Amen. And according to his word, they are eternal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. <clears throat> it's impossible for God to lie. Amen. 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 He's not going to show us something and give us some falsehood in it. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be truth. Uh-huh. Right. And he established that truth. Mm -hmm. He established these testimonies in Jacob. Mm -hmm. Thank God for that. What a great mercy that He established these things. Yeah. We'd be walking in the dark without Him. Yeah, amen. Walking in the dark. Amen. Mm -hmm. Psalms 119, 144 says, The righteousness of Thy testimonies is everlasting. Amen. Give me understanding, and I shall live. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Psalms 119, 152. Concerning thy testimonies, I have known of old that thou hast founded them forever. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Mm -hmm. Psalms 119. I told you 119. Mm -hmm. My brother, I'm, I love preaching to the choir. Yeah. Amen. Because <laughs> I know my brother knows these things. Mm -hmm. And I can just throw them out there, helter yeah, skelter, yeah. and all over the place. And, oh, yep, 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 I remember that. <laughs> Psalms 119, one, my preaching is unorthodox. My doctrine is orthodox. <laughs> but my style is not, so forgive me if it 
if it rubs against you, I apologize. I'll try to keep it uh, toned down. Psalms 119, 138 says, Thy testimonies that thou hast commanded are righteous and very faithful. Amen. 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 Yeah. Very, not just faithful. They're very faithful. That's right. Amen. So when we see something that is revealed of God, no matter how He reveals it, it's faithful. Yeah. And true. Amen. Forever thy word is settled in heaven. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> when God gives testimonies, whether of himself or mankind mm -hmm. or creation or his policies or his statutes or his ways or his commands, when he gives revelation or testimony of heaven or the angels or the principalities and powers, or the law, or, his, uh, or the types and shadows used in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. contained in ceremonies and things like the dietary laws and stuff mm -hmm. like this, they are true, fixed, and eternal. Amen. Mm -hmm. Unless otherwise specified. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. This is the covenant I will make with them in that day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he did reveal it, right? That's right. Amen. Different covenant. Amen. The first covenant is going to be put away. Mm -hmm. Amen. It had its, it had its work, though. That's Amen. right. Yeah. It wasn't put in there. God doesn't do anything for nothing. That's right. Yeah. right? When he gives a testimony, it's established. Mm -hmm. Amen. He just couldn't disannul the <laughs> promise made to Abraham 430 years before. That's right, yes. Amen. 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 And, and as I said before, testimonies come in different ways mm -hmm. and in different forms. It can come by laws or dreams or epiphanies, by uh, the, the appearance of angels, different messengers, miracles, providence, yeah. legislatings, mm -hmm. all kinds of things God has seen, you have seen God do in the past. Matter of fact, Hebrews 1.1, 1, 1, and it's been it quoted so many times by our brother here, and I love Hebrews 2. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a long time before the early church accepted Hebrews. Mm -hmm. It's canonical. Mm -hmm. Man, I'd have canonized that thing at once. <laughs> <laughs> but, that, but that's the way it is. God established it, and yeah. I thank God He did. Yeah. Uh -huh. But it says, God, who in sundry times and diverse manners, see, uh -huh. there, there were diverse manners yeah, yes. in which God spake into the fathers Amen. through the prophets. Amen. Amen. I'm going to stop right there because I'm saving the best till last. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Testimonies and law given before Moses were given before Moses, but he's the one who wrote them down. Uh -huh. The reason we know about Adam and Eve yes. and the fall is because Moses later wrote them down. Uh -huh. All right. Much later wrote them down. But God inspired them and he wrote them down. That's right. As, uh, as God has yes, revealed them. So the testimonies don't have to be written at the time they're given. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. It doesn't have to be a written testimony. It can just be a living oracle of God. It was mm -hmm. passing through the, uh, uh, the, the sacrifice, and Abraham's sacrifice, or these different things that have happened in the past. These, even these dark things that we don't understand. These are testimonies. They, they don't have to come in written form. But I thank God that he had Moses write those down yes, so I would know what they were. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, you know, Jesus did a lot of things that were not written. Mm -hmm. But these things were written that you might believe. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And of course, if all the things that he did were written down, the whole world didn't contain the books. That's right. Amen. But we have plenty of testimony. Amen. To the law and to the testimony, brother. We need, we, it's good for our souls. Mm -hmm. Reading Amen. the Word of God is good for your souls. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Moses, by divine inspiration, wrote about the creation, the fall, the promise of one who was to come that would mm -hmm. bruise the serpent's head. Uh -huh. See, that's testimony right there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Amen. That promise was, uh, believe it or not, not given to Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They were within earshot. Mm -hmm. All right. And it did pertain to them. Mm -hmm. God preached that to the devil. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. God yeah. promised the devil. Yeah. There are promises for the devil. Yeah, uh-huh. I like that. Amen. It was in his face. 
Yeah. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. And the Lord said unto the serpent, and this is test one of the testimonies, so I want to read it. And the Lord said unto the serpent, because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle. Mm -hmm. See, the cattle got cursed when we fell. Yeah. Amen. But the serpent is cursed above all cattle. Yeah. See. Mm -hmm. Above all cattle and above every beast of the field, upon thy belly thou shalt go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Mm -hmm. And I will put enmity or hostility between thee and the woman, mm -hmm. yeah. and between thy seed and her seed, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Mm -hmm. Testimony, brother. Mm -hmm. The technical word is proto-evangel. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like sermon. In case you give you, give you a test in heaven, you'll know what that means. <laughs> <clears throat> there are many testimonies God has given. I'm going to give just a few testimonies like the one I just gave, mm -hmm. Genesis. <clears throat> but there are testimonies that God has given him just in creation itself. Mm -hmm. There are great testimonies. You ever, you ever notice God starts with water when he creates? Spirit of the Lord will put you on the face of the deep. Mm -hmm. He does that. It seems to be a thing. You know, when Noah built the ark and water came, and we usually think about the destruction of the whole earth. Because, mm -hmm. Oh, that's testimony too, by the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. God gave a testimony there. Yeah. Something was going on. He didn't like it. Mm -hmm. Sin. My spirit will not always strive with man. Yeah. Testimony. That's right. Yeah. 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 So he destroyed every living thing on the face of the earth. So is by water. Mm -hmm. But Peter tells us in 1 Peter, that same water saved eight people. Yeah, amen. See? Double function there. Yeah. Amen. It destroyed and yet it yeah. gave birth, if you will. Mm-hmm. Baptism. Yeah. Yeah. Wherein baptism does now save us, not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer. See? Yeah. That's uh -huh. our baptism is our answer to, yeah. to a good conscience toward God. Amen. Yeah. You want to an answer? Mm. Be baptized. Yeah. Don't put your hand on the radio. Well, yeah. <laughs> Don't ask Jesus in your heart. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. He didn't tell us to do that. Yeah, that's right. But he did yeah. tell us to be baptized. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's water, see. Mm -hmm. New creation by water. How about the Red Sea? That's testimony. Mm -hmm. It testifies of the omnipotence of God. Yeah. Testified that He is a strong deliverer. Mm. That His people can count on Him to be delivered from yes. the taskmasters. Mm -hmm. It's also water. And this, the water that gave uh, uh, a deliverance to Israel as a new nation, because they were baptized into Moses and baptized into the sea, Amen. that which gave them birth drowned the horse and rider. Mm. Yeah. At the same time. Yeah. Yes. Amen. See, when we were baptized, our horse, our old nature, and mm. the rider, Satan, Amen. are yeah. both thrown into the sea. Yeah. 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 And we are raised, we are saved yeah. by the great deliverance of uh, Jesus Christ by faith. Amen. 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 Great testimony, see, that God had yes. given. Mm. And, and, and there's a million of them. The Passover, what a testimony that was. When I see the blood, yeah. I will pass. We are. They ought, they ought to write a song like that. <laughs> I love that song. Yes. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. Mm -hmm. Well, Christ, our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Yes. Amen. Amen. How about Jonah? There's a good testimony. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus used that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because <laughs> he's the one that had the fish swallowed. Nice Jesus did that. Mm -hmm. How about Jacob and the messenger at the fords of Jabbok? There's testimony there, brother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Striving with God. Thank you for reading that this morning. Yeah. Amen. <clears throat> you know, the kingdom is taken by violence. Yes, amen. amen. Mm -hmm. Israel means striving. Mm -hmm. Change from Jacob to strive to Israel. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we strive with God. We take it, 
Now, we, we use the word violence, and we usually think, well, like wrestling. Right? <laughs> and we do wrestle with God, do we not? Uh-huh, yeah. The word can also mean passionate, see? Yeah. There's a passion there. Mm-hmm. And we thrust ourselves into the kingdom. We're like, we're like uh, Peter. Where else, where, where else are we to go? Yeah. That's the words of eternal Amen. life. Yes. Amen. Where else? Uh -huh. I will not let you go till you bless me. Yeah. I'm dead in trespasses and sin. I cannot save myself. There is nothing. Don't tell me to walk 2,000 miles on my knees. I will still end up a sinner after I'm done. That's right. Yeah. Something yeah. has to purge me of my sin. Nothing on earth can do that. Thou must save and thou alone. Yes. Yes. And we won't let him, we can't let him go. Yeah. Yeah. Either commit suicide yeah. or have the Lord Amen. bless us. And we won't be wrestled Amen. with him, see? Mm. Amen. As I said, creation itself testifies mm -hmm. in many ways, besides just the water. Mm -hmm. He gives us times and seasons and so mm -hmm. on and like that. Just shows his fatherhood taking care of us. Mm -hmm. right. He keeps it constant too. You notice that? Mm -hmm. He knows it's gotten warmer. Mm -hmm. It's because God has established that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have our times and seasons. You didn't wake up this morning and say, oh, boy, I hope gravity works today. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> did you? you didn't even think about it, did uh, you? No. God just established mm -hmm. that. He's taking care of us like a good father would do. Mm -hmm. We don't have to worry about this or that. He just takes care of it. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we take it for granted. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and a lot of times we should take some of the things for granted. My son, Matthew, comes home from college. He doesn't knock on the door. <laughs> That's right. He just comes in, mm -hmm. throws his dirty laundry over to one side, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, goes into his little room and does whatever he, he just does. He just takes it for granted. Mm -hmm. I don't mind a bit, brother. Mm -hmm. I don't mind a bit. I did. <laughs> Creation also in a different way. Mm -hmm. Let me share this testimony with you. Remember in Matthew, the fifth chapter, verses 45. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to read because I don't. I just don't have time. But uh, you, and, and this is why I like preaching to the choir. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Is the fact that. Uh, the Lord, the Lord was talking about how God in His mercy and His goodness shows forth that testimony by making it to reign on the just and the unjust. Uh -huh. See, creation can teach, the things of creation can teach you that. Uh -huh. If you thought about it, you could say to yourself, I'm in, not in the, in the fold of God, I am a sinner, and yet God gives me blessings. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because He's blessing the brethren. All these things are for us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Unbelievers are on borrowed time. <laughs> Amen. Everything was created for us. Uh -huh. Down here. Mm -hmm. To God's glory, of course. Mm -hmm. Always ultimately to God's glory. But everything was made for us. The reason we have the universe the way it is, mm -hmm. is for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To testify to us. Mm -hmm. Why are things the way they are? They are for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And guess what? When he's done bringing in his church and perfecting his church, yeah. he's going to destroy it all. Yeah. Because that's what it's for, see. Mm -hmm. It's to teach us many things. It's to help us in many different ways, yeah. physically and spiritually. Mm -hmm. Remember the Syrophoenician woman? She had a daughter that was sore vexed by a devil. <laughs> and she goes, she runs after Jesus. She says, Son of David, mm. Have mercy on me, yeah. my daughter. Yeah, that's right. Have mercy on me, mm -hmm. my daughter. Yeah. It's so vexed with the devil. Mm -hmm. And he did everything we would naturally do in such a situation. He ignored her. <laughs> what would Jesus do? <laughs> Sometimes we don't know what Jesus would do. Mm -hmm. Would we have ignored her? Nope. But see, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. He's omniscient. Mm -hmm. He knew when to give and when to bend and when not to. Mm -hmm. So finally, when she does get him to answer, he says, I am only come to the lost sheep of Israel. Yeah. Uh -huh. He gives her a lecture right off the bat. <laughs> oh, thank you. So she keeps begging and keeps begging and keeps begging to finally he says, 
It's not proper that I should take the food from the children's table and throw it to your little dog. Mm. Ouch! <laughs> sweet Jesus ain't so sweet there. Mm. Is he? What would Jesus do? Mm. It should say, what would Jesus have us do? <laughs> mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. what Jesus does and what we do sometimes are not the same thing. Mm -hmm. We're not the Lord of glory. Mm -hmm. And we don't know all his power. He knew that woman. Mm -hmm. He knew how to deal with her. Mm -hmm. And we don't always do. <clears throat> but she asked, you know, when he said that, and to be truthful, brother, if it were I, or me, whatever the correct English is, and this new guy from Galilee, whom everybody called the son of David, and I, and I thought he had power to, to save my deep, sore, vexed daughter mm -hmm. and cleanse her from a demon. If he ignored me, my flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. And then he says, sorry, I don't deal with you people. This upstart from Galilee. And then finally says, it's not right for me to give you the scraps and throw it to your little dog. See, that the dog there is usually the meat of the little dog. He didn't call her a puppy. He called her a little dog. Mm -hmm. It's not right for me to take the children's food and cast it to your little dog. I'd have punched him in the face. My old nature would have risen up and I said, well, go right back to Galilee, pal. We don't need you here. <clears throat> well, why did she say? Mm -hmm. Truth, Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, doesn't that break your heart? I'm a dog. And my daughter is a dog, too. We deserve nothing. But I have seen in the past, even from creation problems, that you make it to rain on the just and the unjust. Mm -hmm. That we have gotten crumbs from the children's table, the dogs mm -hmm. at the table. Do you get those crumbs? Mm -hmm. When it rains in Israel, it rains in Tyre and Sidon. Mm -hmm. When it's sunny in Israel, it's sunny in Tyre and Sidon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when the crops grow in Israel, the crops usually grow in Tyre and Sidon. On your dealings with Israel, some of those crumbs have fallen to us. Mm -hmm. And that's why unbelievers should be so thankful for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. If they don't want to follow Him, that's fine. But every blessing they have right now is because God has made it to reign on the just yes. and the unjust. Amen. Amen. And He turned to her and says, Thou hast answered well. Amen. Go home, your daughter's fine. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And that same hour it happened. See, that's testimony. She, and she read that testimony in there. Mm -hmm. When she saw that it, God's uh, uh, workings and providence in nature, mm -hmm. it taught, she sat down and thought about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's the Messiah. God is the God of Israel. And yet, we're having a good day today. Mm -hmm. He's having mercy on us. Mm -hmm. Th those were crumbs, see? Mm -hmm. And she could establish, we need to take the things of God and think upon them. Amen. They are Amen. testimonies. Great testimonies. Amen. And we can glean mm -hmm. very much from them. Amen. How about manna? Mm -hmm. Testimony. How about their wilderness travels? Great testimonies there of God dealing with His people. Uh -huh. And brothers, we know that those things were written for our example. Mm -hmm. Those are some pretty expensive examples yeah. for us. Mm -hmm. Do you know what it cost to show you that you should not rebel on the way to, to, to Zion? Uh -huh. mm. yeah. He destroyed people just for an example for you. Yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. Those are expensive examples. Mm -hmm. Moses wasn't allowed to go in the promised land. Uh -huh. That was an expensive example mm. <coughs> for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very expensive. Mm -hmm. And yet God went ahead and did it mm -hmm. for a testimony. The law, testimony, the dietary laws, those are just uh, testimony also. 
It may not seem like it, but if you go into the Old Testament, look in the book of Leviticus, the 11th chapter, it will give you the dietary laws. It will say, like, uh, don't eat anything that doesn't chew the cud and have a cloven hoof. Like swine. Now, it's a testimony that the Gentiles have come in to the Jewish Messiah when we actually serve swine on Easter. <laughs> and it's good. <laughs> but it is a testimony that. But if you look at these dietary laws, the usage of them are not eternal. Mm -hmm. But the truths are eternal behind them. Mm -hmm. Chewing the cud. That yeah. means ruminating on yeah. the Word of God. That's right. Yeah, right? Amen. Mm -hmm. Cloven hoof, it won't get stuck in the mud. It won't get stuck in the earth. Your, your walk will not be very earthly. Because mm -hmm. you chew the cud and it causes you to walk the way you should, ought to be able to walk. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. So yeah. we have trouble with horses. They got one, just one big hoof. And you, you know, they get stuck in the mud. Mm -hmm. These are eternal truths, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And someday, when we get to heaven, we're going to walk perfectly. Amen. And the Word of God is going to be right. There. See, these are eternal truths. They're just rewrapped in, in the Old Testament. <clears throat> but, they, but they are testimony to how God works. Mm -hmm. Now, there's some people who says, well, we don't, it was good that they didn't eat pork because it's not healthy for you. Hmm. That's not what God said. That's right. He said because they don't chew the cut or have uh, uh, or it's either because they do choke don't you have to do both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't do one or the other, okay? Because if you chew the cut and you don't walk in it, mm -hmm. that's hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. And if you walk, if you have a form of godliness but deny the power of the love, yeah. uh -huh. that's hypocrisy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You got to have both. See, mm -hmm. our walk has to come from ruminating on the Word of God. Mm -hmm. From eating the things of God, ingesting Jesus Christ. Yes, He's amen. our food. He's the food of the church. And when we eat Him and see Him for what He is, we're changing to His likeness. Uh -huh. And we walk the way we should walk. These, these are just eternal truths. They're just repackaged there in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. God was using a flannel graph for His children. The ceremonies. Boy, I'm going to have to go 150 miles an hour now. Mm -hmm. How about Gideon? I, ju I just want to bring, this will be the last testimony I will bring up, but it's Gideon in uh, Judges, the sixth chapter. Mm -hmm. But it really spoke to my heart. Judges, the sixth chapter, <clears throat> 16 and 17. Uh, you, you remember that Gideon was threshing out the grain. He was hiding, so mm -hmm. to speak, and he's threshing out the grain because the Midianites are all around. He doesn't want his grain being taken away, and they will if they find him precious grain. So he's hiding. And all of a sudden, the messenger of the Lord Jehovah all right, appears. And he says, Hail, thou mighty man of valor. Mm. <laughs> Who? He was hiding. He was fleshing out grain and hiding. Thou mighty man of valor. Amen. I like that. See, that's testimony. Amen. We may not feel like mighty men of valor. But we are in the eyes of the Lord. Amen. We're saints of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Chosen and elect before the foundations of the earth. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're future rulers of heaven. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. How do we know? Because we see Jesus. Yes. Amen. Who was made for a short time, Amen. a little lower than the angels. Yeah. And later crowned with glory. That's our end. Amen. You want to know your end? That's your end. And yet it does still not yet appear what we shall be. In its totality. Yeah. It's because the prize is still up ahead. <clears throat> but Gideon, anyway, the angel, it calls the angel of the Lord. I like the word messenger better because sometimes we can really mess up when we, we, we have preconceived ideas of what a messenger or an angel is. <clears throat> not all of them, in the, not all the angels in the Bible were created, as it were, winged angels. All right? The messenger of the covenant was not a winged angel. Mm -hmm. It was not that type of cherub or seraph or anything like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's just a messenger. John the Baptist was called an angel. Mm -hmm. The preachers in, in, in Revelation, mm -hmm. when he talks, to the angel at Smyrna, right. He's not talking about a, a winged angel. Mm -hmm. He's talking about the minister there. Uh -huh. And they're called angels. Not everything that is an angel is a winged angel. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, uh, Christ is sent 
he could be called an angel even though he's not a created angel. Mm -hmm. But he is a messenger, so we really have to be careful how we look at that word angel. Mm -hmm. It should just be messenger. Mm -hmm. And then we have to, you know, draw the lines of, of, of demarcation between what is a, a, minister, a flaming minister of fire who are sent to, uh, to, uh, to help the heirs of salvation and which ones are uncreated. Mm -hmm. But the angel of Jehovah, the messenger of Jehovah shows up, greets him, and then finally, it says in verse 16, and the, but it calls him Jehovah the whole time. Uh, Gideon calls him Jehovah the whole time. And you can chew on that. Ruminate again. And you can figure out, who was this? And the Lord said unto him, Surely I will be with thee, and thou shalt smite the Midianites as one man. And he said unto him, If now I have found grace in thy sight, then show me a sign that thou talkest with me. Depart not hence, I pray thee, until I come to thee, and bring forth my present, and set it before thee. And he said, I will carry until thou come again. I love that. He says, Lord, would you mind waiting? When's the last time you told Jehovah to wait? Would you want? Because he had to go and prepare a sacrifice. He had to prepare a kid, and that takes time. Okay? Mm -hmm. He didn't just all of a sudden grab a kid and throw it on the altar. He had to prepare the kid. He had to make uh, the bread. Mm -hmm. Right? All that. And he said, "Would you mind waiting while I do on that?" And what did the Lord reply? I'll wait. Mm -hmm. See, this is how God does with His people. He condescends mm -hmm. the men of low estate. I'll wait. Tell the president that. Would you mind waiting here for about an hour? Yeah. yeah. Do you think he would? Mm -hmm. He'd say, goodness sakes, pal, don't you think I have more important things to do? Mm -hmm. But what did Jehovah tell mm -hmm. Gideon? Go ahead, I'll wait. Oh, what kind of sentient? See, that's testimony. Mm -hmm. That testifies how God deals with his people. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And we know that it was established in Israel. <clears throat> in Psalms 147, 19 and 20, it says, He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as, as uh, far as his judgments, they have not known them. Praise Jehovah. He has only dealt with Israel. He called Abraham out of the earth of the colonies. It was an effectual calling. Because <clears throat> whom he does for know, he also predestinates to be conformed to the image of a son, that they, he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Mm -hmm. Moreover, those who did he did predestinate in such a way, he calls. Mm -hmm. And whom he calls, he justifies. Mm -hmm. And whom he justifies, he will also glorify, yeah. brethren. Mm -hmm. And there was an effectual calling to Abraham. Now, why was it Abraham? Why was it Karl Shemansky of the Hittites? Mm -hmm. Because it seemed good in his sight. Yeah. It was after the counsel of his good will. Uh -huh. He knew all the variables, as, as we talked about a couple of days. He knows all the variables. He knows if he does this instead of this and this instead of that. He knows a billion different variables, mm -hmm. a different factors. He says, this is the way I want to do it. It wasn't just an arbitrary yeah. calling. He yeah. knew exactly what he was doing, yeah. exactly how he should do it, and what would give yeah. him the most glory yeah. and his people the most blessings. Uh -huh. And he says, yeah. I'm going to call this guy Abraham. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. He called Abraham on the early Chaldees, and he established with him promises. Mm -hmm. And into his seed, mm -hmm. into his promised seed, not Ishmael. Isaac, not Esau, Jacob. That's right. Yeah. The seed of promise, the children mm -hmm. of promise. Amen. Mm -hmm. As such are we, brother. Amen. Mm -hmm. As such are we. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and he established it in Israel. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Going down through Judah, the promises of Messiah to come. All the testimonies, all the laws, all the mm -hmm. oracles were delivered to Israel. And as I said, 
It started out with Moses. He wrote them down. It says in Romans, the ninth chapter, mm -hmm. I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. that I have great heaviness, continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Mm -hmm. Who are Israelites? Mm -hmm. To whom pertain the adoption? Yeah. Uh -huh. And the glory. Yep. And the covenants. And the giving of the law. And the service of God. And the promises. Mm -hmm. Who are the fathers? Whose are the fathers? Mm -hmm. And of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came. Amen. Mm -hmm who is over all, God blessed forever. Amen. Amen. Yep. It was to Israel that he vouchsafed these things. Yep. Uh -huh. yeah. What a blessing to them. Yeah. Amen. And that gave them a hope. Yes. And when you got a hope, you work on it, right? Yeah. Yeah. See, God was working in them both the will and uh -huh. the doers get pleasure by giving them a hope. Yeah. He established it, established it by giving them a hope. Mm -hmm. It constrained them to keep his commandments. Yes. Some did it by faith. Mm. Some did it because they thought there was going to be a chicken in every pot for Israel. Mm -hmm. They had worldly ideas. Mm -hmm. But whether they had spiritual ideas by faith or they had worldly mm -hmm. ideas, there was still a hope. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it constrained them to keep the law, to keep these commandments, mm -hmm. to keep these testimonies, and to keep these oracles alive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And wherever you find a group of people, mm -hmm. when God gives them his testimonies, mm -hmm. It brings them to life. Yes. Amen. And they want to keep that testimony yes. alive. Do they not, Amen. brethren? Yeah. Amen. And we want to pass them down to our children and to our children's children mm -hmm. that they might obey <coughs> the laws of God. <clears throat> now I've cut out about half my sermon, so I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up here real mm -hmm. soon. Mm -hmm. <coughs> they were real meticulous about keeping uh, the oracles of God. <clears throat> I'm going to give you one, uh, one small uh, allegory here. Or, or one, this is a parable, a pyramid parable, mm -hmm. if you don't mind. See, the kingdom of God is like a box of Cracker Jacks. Is Al shaking his head? <laughs> Did I invite this guy to Delaware? <laughs> The kingdom of God is like a box of Cracker Jacks. Mm -hmm. You have plenty of good stuff at the top, but the prize is in the end. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You can eat and you can eat these good things, but there's a prize down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. See, when, when the, I'm not going to call it Cracker Jack box anymore, but mm -hmm. when, the, when, the, when, the, when the testimonies and the riches and the, and the things were given to Abraham, mm -hmm. he could do the box sideways. And he saw the promise of far off. Uh -huh. it's at the, there it is, it's at the end. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> That's what we used to do, right? Yeah. And you young kids are going, what's a crappy jack? <laughs> <clears throat> it wasn't until I was in fifth grade that I thought, I saw people turn the box upside down. And I thought, well, that's not fair. <laughs> it never dawned on me to turn the box upside down so you get the prize out first. But you know what is happening in these last days? The box has been turned upside down. We are given Jesus Christ. Amen. And then we look back to the Old Testament and we see all these oracles and all these things that God, and it gives light to them, see? Amen. It's because we've gotten the prize first. Well, actually, part of the prize. Yeah. There's still a prize out ahead. Yeah, that's right. We've, we've got an, even a bigger Cracker Jack box now. And the prize is at the end, brethren. Yeah. Abraham, uh, Jesus said, Abraham rejoiced to see my day. Uh -huh. And he saw it. He saw their prize at the bottom. He sort of fall off and being persuaded of it and embraced it. He confessed he was a pilgrim and stranger on the earth. Yeah. So he ain't, 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 and you can't believe him for doing so. The same thing with us. Mm -hmm. There's a prize set before us. Yeah. There are things that God has given us, and we Gentiles have inherited that, where the wild olive branch has been grafted in. Mm -hmm. And I don't have time. Read Galatians, the third chapter, uh -huh. <laughs> about being the sons of, of God uh, by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, yeah. sons of Abraham, yeah. heirs of salvation. Yeah. Amen. Now we have the promises, uh -huh. the covenant of Abraham. 
He at the gospel was preaching to Abraham saying, In thy seed shall all the nations of yep. the earth be blessed. Amen. Well, that's us. Amen. 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 And those who live by faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. Amen. Amen. It's the same promise that has come to us through the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. You can see the wall of partition has been broken down. Amen. And the two have become one. Yes. Amen. The twin have become one. Uh -huh. Amen. And now we have inherited the promises and yeah. the oracles uh -huh. and the adoption uh -huh. and, and the other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> the whole pride. Yeah. We've inherited that by grace. Yes. Amen. 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 Because we are joined to the Lord Jesus yes. Christ. Amen. And these are great things. But brethren, hand them down. Yeah. Amen. Uh huh. That's what he gave them. Uh huh. Amen. Give your children a hope. Yeah. And then I'm amazed at our, your children, brother. Mm. Amazed. They have been handed down. Uh -huh. They have been handed yes, down. Uh -huh. He even spelled among us wrong. Yeah. <laughs> they have been handed down, brother. And I love, but they're going to need it. You know why? Because perilous times are going to come. Uh -huh. Amen. The rains are, are going to dip. He doesn't say if the rains descend mm. and the floods come. And the wind's beating. He didn't say if. He says when. When, yeah. Right? We've had testimony concerning. Our whole weekend's been testimonies. Mm -hmm. We've had testimony. Our children are going to need this. Mm -hmm. And if in the, in the last days perilous times will come, mm -hmm. they are really going to need it. So what we need to do is not only hand them down verbally, we need to live it for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to be living oracles, written epistles for our children. Mm -hmm. I remember, I think, I think it was Brother Gibbon. It was about 30 years ago. But it stuck in my head. Mm -hmm. He says, if you're not going to act like a Christian, don't tell anybody you are one. Yeah. I said, oh, whoa. <laughs> I was a young kid at the time. But that stuck with me. So uh -huh. I think it was him. Could have been you, Al. <laughs> but one of the brethren had said that. Yeah, uh huh. And that stuck with me. Yeah. Because a lot of times actions speak louder than words. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. And we need to live for them as much as speak to them concerning the words of God. Yeah, amen. Bring them up. Don't let these things slip away. Mm -hmm. All my ancestors were born in Kentucky, mm -hmm. except me. I was born in Hammond, mm -hmm. in the north. Not even the south side of heaven, north side of heaven. But all my whole, all my ancestors are from down that way. Uh -huh. And uh, down in Kentucky in Marion, just off the little two-lane highway, down in the Vale, <laughs> there's and the cemeteries around. It's real peaceful looking. There's a there's a church there, church house, that was founded in 1810. That's 205 years ago. My ancestors, and uh, I, I bless the Lord for this, my ancestors gave them the property to build that mm -hmm. building. Mm -hmm. my ans my, the, the faith has come down for at least 205 years in my family. Mm -hmm. And it, they were Southern Baptists. Yeah. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> they meant business. <laughs> It has come down through my family for 205 years. Mm -hmm. And it hasn't stopped yet. Mm -hmm. I have no intention of stopping it. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. My grandson now mm -hmm. has inherited these things. Amen. And I hope his children do. Mm -hmm. Do not let it stop with you, brethren. Uh -huh. yeah. You might be the first of your family to have I've obeyed the Lord Jesus, obeyed the gospel of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. You might be the first in your family. But if mine has lasted for over 205 years, maybe you're the start. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're the start of it. See, God has means by which He does things. Yes, amen. He has His providence. He's declared things, but He has means by which He accomplishes That's them. That's right. And we accomplish them. Mm -hmm. See, they both work together. Mm -hmm. Don't let it die. Give them the glories of the Lord, the testimonies of the Lord. Mm -hmm. 